Well, more now on the international report on global warming. With me is Dr. Salim Hook. He's director of the Climate Change Program at the International Institute for Environment and Development. And he's one of the lead authors of the next report from the international panel, panel on climate change. That's due out in April. Thanks for being with us. Haven't we always known, though, that, uh, that mankind is responsible for global warming? We've known that for quite a while. This is, after all, the fourth assessment report that's come out in the last 15 years. The first one was in 1990, a good 17 years ago. So we've known for quite some time. What this one does, which is different from the others, it says, no longer says, as the previous ones did, that future climate change was in the future if we carried on as we were. It is saying that climate change is happening. We can see it happening already. I mean, is climate change likely to have happened without the interference of humankind? Well, there's been climate variability without the interference of humankind always. We, we know that. But again, as I said, what this particular report is able to do is to look at, for example, the last 100 years of observed climate change. And it finds that the last 10 years of the last century we have almost across the board the highest heat waves, the highest floods, the highest droughts, all in the last 10 years compared to the previous 90 years. So something's happening that's gone off the charts. And what do we need to do about it? I mean, everyone's saying cut back on those uh, carbon dioxide emissions, for instance. What more can we do? Well, that's one of the p parts of the problem. What, what reducing carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gas emissions will do and they have to be done very, very drastically within a, period, a fairly short period of time, will prevent some of the really catastrophic impacts of climate change which are likely to occur in the next 50 to 100 years if we carry on as, as we are now. Unfortunately, the next 10 or 20 years worth of climate change is already in the system and we really can't avoid it, even if we were to reduce our emissions to zero today. I mean, with a, a nation like the United States, for instance, not so far backing all this and, and doing something about its own massive amount of global uh, of, of carbon emissions I mean is, is that a serious worry for, for scientists that, that they're not doing that well the Bush White House is certainly a serious worry and hopefully it won't be a Bush White House for very much longer on the other hand the United States itself is doing very uh, quite a few things uh, a number of states have done some very interesting measures including states run by uh, Republican uh, governors like uh, Governor Schwarzenegger in mm -hmm. California and Governor Pataki in New York. Over a hundred cities, mayors in the states have had Kyoto-like targets imposed on themselves. Uh, companies in the U.S. are doing things. So it's not as if the U.S. isn't doing anything. Mm -hmm. It's just that the Bush White House happens to be on a limb on this. Dr. Salim Hook, many thanks. You're welcome.